In today's episode, we're exploring the abandoned Northridge Mall, which first opened its doors in 1972. It operated successfully for several years, but soon began to run into trouble. The mall's location was chosen due to its proximity to a planned freeway, but it was canceled after locals protested. Then, in the 90s, concerns of high crime rates in the area began to further erode the mall's clientele. The economic recession of 2001 was the final nail in the coffin, with many tenants opting not to renew their lease. The mall would close just two years later, in 2003. For the following 15 years, the mall would remain under tight security, with the interior serving as a time capsule of late 20th century commercial architecture. In recent years, however, thieves and vandals began to win the battle with security, and the condition of the building has quickly deteriorated. Now, we're venturing inside to see what's left. Northridge Mall, September update, surrounding spot number 94-11, 60 second radio. Hello, my name is Joni Vasos, the new marketing director for Northridge Mall, where we have many new and exciting things happening, and I'd like to share some of them with you. Inside the mall, Northridge has tripled the amount of flowers, and it's simply beautiful. Outside, our new parking lot signs feature a floral theme, so it's easy to identify and remember whether you're parked in our rose, orchid, daisy, or tulip lot. Plus, we have a free customer shuttle and courtesy phones at the main mall entrances, so you can call for a ride. Oh, and don't put your sunglasses away just yet, because we've installed new parking lot lights. In the evening, our lights are as bright as a summer's day. Stores Ridge Mall. For times like these, shop. <laughs> Want to open one? The movies. Yeah. That's probably a good place to start. A movie theater inside the mall. It's probably a two story movie theater. It is. Too. There's an own escalator right here. I'm going to walk through the window. shatter out all this glass, though. Yeah. Oh, it goes down into a dark hallway. Let's check out upstairs first. Refreshments. That font is so 70s. Here, the door of this theater is open. And the projection room. Theater 6. Is that projection? Yeah, yeah. but there's nothing in here. Hmm. Not much left. Yeah, the seats are all removed. You can see the frame from where the screen was, but nothing else. That's a small screen, though. It is. It's not a big theater. They might have had a bigger theaters, cinema screen somewhere, but. There's also columns in it. Columns? Which you usually don't see in a theater. I mean, obviously, they wouldn't have seats there. Yeah. But still. I wonder if this was retrofitted oh, into a movie theater it been. later on. Maybe other screens will still be there. Probably not, though. Theater 5. The movies 5. Right. It's Is this the, same the same situation? Absolutely nothing. It's dark down there. This might not even be a movie theater. No, there's only four, five, six up there. Maybe it is. Was this the main lobby? Yeah, this was. You'd see where they had the movie posters on the wall right here. Another refreshment booth. 
One, two, three, right it here. Smells kind of moldy. You might want to bust out the respirator. It does smell moldy. There is mold on the walls. These are going to be the big cinema screens. Yeah. It's very moldy in here. Oh, it's flooded. Holy shit, it is. That explains the mold. These are hardly bigger also. They're very different design. Less retro. It's flooded. Look at the mold on the ceiling tiles. Let's get Holy out of here. Holy shit. And just like the sound deadening stuff and the curtains on the walls just absorb moisture. Light fixtures here in a row. Empty poster cases. Wish there were some posters, but I removed everything. Holy shit, that's a big cinder block wall. What the hell? They just built a cinder block wall through the lobby. Oh, you know what? That's, that's the, the hardware store. That's the Menards. Can't say that in the video, I guess. Or we're That's why I said hardware away. store. We're giving the location away. It's okay. pretty popular and they're demolishing it. We'll decide later. That's the Menards. <laughs> There's an active store behind this wall. There used to be a Sears, but they just demolished that and built something else. Uh, people. It's so weird, this wall it just cut off. Oh, I don't care. They're not making noise. It seems the mall is a pretty popular spot with locals, as we could hear many other people in the building with us. We tried to avoid them in order to focus on our filming. Doesn't the picture people kind of sound like a knockoff of us? Did you even notice what this is right here? Yeah, Christmas. Part of their Christmas setup. The roof is pretty cool. I just ripped out. Oh, this was like an office. There's blueprints for the whole place. This includes like shelf layouts and everything. Uh -huh. Retail planning. Oh, they had the center pieces here, like the swords that were on the carts. Oh yeah. Whatever they're called. Yep, that's pretty dated looking. It is. The pink and green kind of reminds you of Miami, huh? <laughs> All the glass is smashed, except this one piece somehow. Look at the old light bulbs around the entire rim. Yeah, there are some really cool ones above the doorway, down that other hallway. It's kind of like a carnival look. Yeah. Like, I feel like this mall looks really dated, 
but you wouldn't have to do that much to modernize it. No. New floor, new lights, new colors, new railing. That's most of it. They're playing music. Oh, there's more people. There's probably more people. This looks like one of the main atrium areas where they had the water fountains and escalators. This was a big store. Oh yeah, it was. They have benches in here. These were probably placed around the mall. Yeah, I feel like this ceiling design would hold up yeah, today. Yeah, the structure still. itself would hold up. It's just like, like the lighting dated. and the uh, color scheme and the railing pretty much stand out. Like that, that looks outdated. Yeah, but they could change that all up. The area probably can't support them all anymore though. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gone out of business in the first place. There is an anchor store back here. That's drilling? It does sound a little like that. Are they putting plywood over the doors? Well, we'll find out when we try to leave. Sounds like a power tool or something. There's airsoft BBs everywhere. Oh yeah. That would be pretty sick to play airsoft in here. They were using it for airsoft at one point. Like officially? Yeah, like organized teams and stuff. A negative of a kid or, yeah. You know what it was? There was a the photo, photo spot. Yeah. The picture people. Yeah. No trees left. Every mall courtyard has the same features. Fountains, an elevator, and some ironwork. Escalators, second level balcony that wraps around. Okay, this is an anchor store for sure. It's pretty huge. It smells weird. A little bit. Those crossed escalators are the classic department mm -hmm. store in a mall. It's a pretty plain looking department store though. A lot of the decor is probably removed. Like even the ceiling here is nothing special. Some of these steps, some of the steps are loose. And it's more open because people smashed it out. Those are airsoft grenades. Huh. So they used the whole entire mall for that. Sounds pretty fun, to be honest. Subtle shapers.
jewelry. Well, now what? Should we finish our video? If they're still in here, maybe not. Around. They went out this way. They went in this building. They did? They did. They came out of here too. Yeah, they were right here. Well, what if we, we have like a valid excuse now? Like we tried to leave. Yeah. They told us to leave and we tried to. And we can't. So we can finish our video maybe? Yeah. I can't believe they actually bolted that door shut from the inside. Yeah. So, the weirdest fucking thing just happened. Security walked in the building and said, y'all are all trespassing. Did he say that? He, yes, he said, okay. you guys are all trespassing. You need to leave. I didn't hear what he said. There was some other really. here too. And we said, okay, we just need to get our stuff and we'll leave. So we walked the other direction. Then we saw the door we walked in was completely sealed now. So we couldn't leave. So we came back out here and there's no sign of the security guy. So I guess, you know, we said we would leave, but we tried and we couldn't. So I guess we should finish our video now. We're gonna finish our video while trying to find another place to leave. Yeah, <laughs> we might have sealed everything. This door is completely walled off. There's another luggage cart. This looks like it was a pharmacy. Like a Walgreens or a CVS or something. Yeah, it says Walgreens right here. There you go. Is that normal for those to be in a mall? I feel like I haven't seen that before. <sighs> really, really collapsed malls, I guess. Like not. Not popular ones. This sign looks old right here. Yeah. Still got the green card display. Damn, the entire glass side of that escalator is gone. You know what the holy grail would be? A mall where all the stores are still fully stocked with merchandise. Oh, that would never happen though. The only way that would happen is like a Chernobyl type incident yeah. or Fukushima. Happened right next to a mall. Or a natural disaster of some sort. Yeah. Oh, he's right there. Security. Should we hide? It's the same dude. Which one? The one with the red shirt. Is he what? Did he see you? Probably. He's looking this way. Should we have just hid? Maybe. Fuck. Go this way. There's no way. We took to the back corridors of the mall to remain out of sight of security and maximize the amount of time we could film before being kicked out. It's like a workshop. Look at all the stuff in here. Look at this. Wait, did you not see where there was a bunch of paint in there? Yeah, but look in here. Yeah, so this is like the workshop. Wait, look at this sign. This has to be so old. Holy shit. Coming soon. A new and exciting McDonald's. Wow. That's old. Mall sign. Here's the mall. I 
found all the planters. But yeah, we've been looking for an exit in all of the ways to exit that we saw from outside before they have been sealed. Oh, this does not continue up. Big storage area though. Check out this whole conveyor belt system. They'd have to organize everything. These are all posters from the stores. This is so dated, holy cow. The look. We're struggling right now to see the upper floors, film cinematics, carry everything, and avoid whoever's in here. Still here, I'm nailing screws in. They're still inside. In and the new scenes at Northridge are a must see. Even Siskel and Ebert would have to agree with two thumbs up. Hi, I'm Joni Basos, the marketing director at Northridge Mall. Ever since we tripled the number of plants and flowers in the mall, we've been in full bloom year round with our beautiful environment setting the stage for an enjoyable shopping experience. And some exciting new stores are being added to our marquee lineup for the perfect arrangement of selection, savings, variety, and value. Okay, so we're going to head to the food court area, which is where it sounds like the workers are. So they're probably going to see us and kick us out right there. So this will probably be the end of the video. He's seen pretty much everything. Yeah. And there's no other way out. There's no other way out because they sealed everything up. So. I'm going to compliment them. They did a very good job. Okay. This place was wide they did. open. And now it's not. Yeah. This is like destroyed anyway. Okay. We're approaching them, right? Yeah. Oh, we can leave right there. Yeah. We can ask if we can take a few more pictures though. Or maybe we should just leave. <laughs> I think we saw enough. Wave. <laughs> you guys nah. are doing a good job. Yeah, the way we came in, you guys boarded up. Yeah. Check outside. Hmm? I don't want you guys to think we're bullshit. Hmm? I don't want you guys to think we're bullshit. Oh, we're not. No, as I said, you guys did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. All the doors <laughs> we came in, we saw open or closed now. <laughs> Uh, the back door with the green wood on it was open. Uh, did, yeah, did, it's good now. It's sealed now. <laughs> yeah. I saw y'all first walk back there. Y'all first walk through the back. Yeah. I've been noticed y'all out there. I don't got a problem going to walk. But I noticed all the other people that were here. Yeah. yeah. Is that y'all black truck back there? No. no. 
We were just here to yeah, take we, pictures, when you so told I us, didn't know anyone else. Yeah. When you told us to leave, we were just going to leave the way we came in, but then we saw it was sealed, yeah, so we were like... like, man, don't let not one person out here call the police. All right, well, thanks for not calling the cops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Most likely, you already know. Y'all already know. You know. Yeah. yeah. Right there, right there, right there. But I talked to the owner yesterday, and she said she's gonna put up the money that it needs to be fixed. Oh, really? Because it needs like about two million dollars, and mm -hmm. they got it. You know, they got it. Okay. Uh, for everything. All right. Smoking in here. Well, have a nice day. Smoking in here. Oh yeah, that was that. <laughs> so whoever said there was security, there is security. Currently, the mall's owner, a Chinese investment group, is in a legal battle against the local government which wants the building demolished. Although the future is uncertain, it's likely that the mall's days are numbered. The radio ads you heard in this video were actually found on cassette tapes within the mall offices by John Rev. We'll include a link to his archive of content rescued from the mall in the video description. If you enjoyed this episode, consider checking out our playlist of other abandoned malls. Thanks for watching.